Okay, y'all, I'm going to show y'all how I did this um, makeup for, um, if you haven't seen it, my ginger wig. I'm going to leave a little, like, tab so y'all can click on it if you want to go watch that first so y'all can see how my makeup actually turned out for the collective. Or you can just wait to the end of this video. Per. So, um, I'm going to use this glue stick, and I'm actually, um, I'm doing my eyebrows first. This was the main thing I wanted to show off and showcase I've tried to do this before and I think these turned out the best I didn't know which orange to do um, and you can see my brows are very dark I usually use like an ebony in the NYX um, brow pen and I'm gonna just take this rumor uh, I want to say 11 number 11 I'm pretty sure this concealer and I'm just dousing it on my brows um, I'm not pressing too hard and I'm not really trying to blend it out because I'm putting the eyeshadow over it so I want it kind of tacky um, yes I'm making it thick I'm just trying to cover all my brow hairs and then I'm gonna clean it up with my normal concealer but I'm gonna do this um, and I made sure I got close enough so y'all can see because when I initially do this first I'm gonna end up taking it off and there was a good reason because for me i knew the color of my wig because i already installed my wig is underneath uh and it was turned out more red than orange and i was scared that i wasn't going to be able to figure out how to do it but i'm only going to wipe these brows off once and then the second time i do them this is going to be it but if you see like the thumbnail you can tell that my brows were like pretty much invincible like they 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 look pretty blonde, which made me happy because they were, like, really light. And that was the whole point. But I would say for the color I was doing and for my skin tone, using this, like, white cream base as a topper probably wasn't the best just for me. But I'm going to start putting the, the uh, orange on. And you can, you can tell, like, you can barely see anything so I'm trying to figure out which palette to use which one had the like best orange for this look um, I'm gonna start putting it on and I immediately knew once I started putting it on even though in the pan it looked like the right color and even on the brush but once I started patting it on you can see that it's more like a dark red and then I'm gonna like well let me change it and this was a lighter orange but it still wasn't doing what I needed to do and I probably could have got away with doing it this way and etching it out and I'm gonna do both of them just to make sure but I'm just like lightly patting it because like I said I'm gonna fix it later but if you want to change your eyebrow color in my opinion just use your concealer that you always use like you can see you can see my brow through this and it's pretty dark not saying that it's not orange but it's not the orange that I needed. And when I say I'm patting this on there, I'm barely touching it. And you see my like brow just seeping through. But yeah, it's trial and error, honestly. It's it's pretty much trial and error for this. Me trying to get this done. Um, I knew this was gonna be like mostly like hiding my face. Oh y'all. <laughs> I try to change up how I do my face makeup, makeup every time so it's not the same just so y'all can see the different results and maybe you like it one way a different way because there's a million different ways to do your brows and do your face makeup but I'm even gonna try with this you know uh, I'm putting a little brown with the lighter orange and I'm just like maybe it'll work but like this orange was not the orange I needed it's orange don't get me wrong it's orange but if I would have took off this wig and had these brows it would have looked crazy it would have looked so crazy and I usually never do this I usually be like forget it. I'm gonna keep going which I did I was just like well maybe you know let me do some of my face and I was like maybe it'll be different maybe it'll work out and y'all know this is my elf putty primer it's like poreless primer um it's really creamy i like using it because it feels like especially on top of my sunscreen and moisturizer it just kind of seeps in y'all see it's on my neck because these brows were driving me crazy the brows were 
drive me crazy. I just put the Maybelline Studio Fix translucent powder to set my concealer because I knew I was gonna go outside with this look. This look was too bomb, but I just take some Vaseline because I use glue as well, and I'm just taking them off. I was like, I can't. I know I knew it wasn't right. I was like, I can't leave it this way. So I'm just taking some Vaseline in the towel and just getting it off. And I definitely did this before I did my foundation because I was just like, there's no way. If I put that foundation on, it would have been done. I would have sealed it. It would have sealed my fate. And I would have hated it. So I'm going to do it again. And I'm just going to take my glue stick and redo these brows. And I was like, maybe, maybe this time I'm like, I'm just going to use my regular concealer. So I'm going to use my... Um, Born This Way Too Faced uh, Concealer. I believe it's in Maple. And you can see that like, I'm going to put it on there. I was going to let it dry a little bit. And I didn't do a... I did enough to... I know it was going to cover. But I just lightly tapped it on there. I just wanted to see how much of my brows were going to come through. Was I going to need some more? And I really didn't let this, like, I didn't really take no time at all. And I was so scared doing this orange. Um, I'm trying to see what palette I was actually in. I'm pretty sure I used the Afrique Juvia's, uh, Juvia's Place uh, palette. Um, I think that's how you say it. And it's the shade... I want to say it's uh, Dakar. Um, I'll put it in the description. But I'm pretty sure that's the color I used for this. And when I say I lightly patted, I was lightly patting. But I was just trying to pack on the color. Because if you rub and try to blend, one, there's no point. And two, you want it to be colorful so you don't want to really blend it out because one you're going to sculpt these anyway so that's why you just see me packing it on there and I was like I think that's enough so I'm taking the same concealer and going right underneath and etching it out and y'all I was so scared I was like this isn't enough um they're not going to be right because in my mirror that's where I'm looking in my mirror um it didn't look right and I was just like, but this looks better than the other one. So this is my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. That is the shade Coco. And I noticed it was the shade Coco because look how dark it is. This was my shade when I like summertime shade when I was in um, Washington when I first got there in the summer. That was the shade I was. Now don't get me wrong. It's going to match. It's going to be giving skin. Don't worry about it. But I may, I remember that I, I don't want to put foundation where I put um, my concealer at. So I'm taking my Juvia stick. Um, this is another foundation I use. It was just easier to put it up there than doing the one I did at the bottom. It's all going to match soon. I think I was listening to a podcast when I was doing this. Just to distract myself. I didn't want to listen to any music. And my beauty blender was, I had to go wet it. But I let that dry down some. And yeah, this is definitely maple. You can see how light it is. Which is fine because my foundation was so dark. When I when I get it all together and all my powders together. And underneath my brows dry down a lot. They dry down a lot. Which was good because I didn't want my brows to move. But I honestly thought that I was going to end up taking this makeup off and redoing it again. It was just, I was not used to the brows. Like, the brows were throwing me. And I kept trying to remember not to blend them out, not to go over them, make sure, like, I didn't mess with the concealer that was underneath them. And I'm, I'm patting even more, like, color. I'm just like they're a little too light I'm using the same color don't don't get me wrong not taking a different color just adding some more orange 
because I wanted to cover more of my brow shade. Like you can see my brows a little bit, which I didn't hate because I just wanted it to be a different color. So right now I'm just trying to blend out, get the foundation everywhere, wondering do I need to do some more, trying not to get it on my wig. Um, yeah, I was like worried. I was like, girl. So I'm gonna take this LA Pro Concealer, uh, one Pro Con LA Pro Concealer, uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer, excuse me, does not get the flowers it needs. This it was my concealer, or I'm sorry, my contour for years. I need to buy some more because this one's pretty much gone. But this is in the shade Mahogany. It's their darkest shade that they have. Um, I like my contour to be pretty dark. I'm not going to hold you because I feel like otherwise you won't be able to tell. My son was in here. My baby was walking around. I, I swear to y'all, I thought he was going to be knocking over my camera. I was so worried. I'm trying to blend this nose and I'm just like, girl, it's all over the place. I had to put more concealer and I'm gonna take my NARS I believe as well I'm, I'm pretty sure I do cuz I wanted it to be pretty light maybe I don't maybe I just use my my maple it's light enough but I feel like it was kind of getting lost it wasn't enough I needed more more pop around the eyes because I knew I wasn't doing eyeshadow though and I was telling my husband, like, hey, can you go get him? Because he's trying to go outside, out the back door. <laughs> but that's why I'm so stressed and frantic. Putting this on. And if you watch my other video and you see that scratch on my forehead, you know why. You know why. Um, and it's sealed up while I'm doing this. Don't worry. I'm taking my Too Faced. I haven't used this powder in so long and I miss it. It's so soft. 10 out of 10 recommend. I forgot I had it. I'm not going to hold you. Like Fit Me had me in a chokehold. But this is my Too Faced um, Translucent Medium. Their um, setting powder. It's so soft and you don't need that much. And like I said, mine is in Translucent Medium. It's so pretty. They also have it in like white everything like that and I also have it in a darker shade I believe because I obviously I have the medium one so um yeah that powder is everything it makes my skin look like skin I'm taking this uh pro highlight and contour palette y'all know I don't know where I got it from um but I have it and I'm doing my contour just setting it and I took a little white one uh that was in there powder and I am setting uh, my concealer that was on my eyelids because my eyelids are trying to crease. But yeah, y'all. I'm going to do everything else off camera. Oh, I'm going to let y'all watch me do this. I've been doing this. Uh, the contour, I'm telling y'all, sleeping on it. Use your contour concealer for your outline of your lips. I'm promising you, you won't regret it. I promise. Let it dry down some. Yeah, y'all won't regret it. I'm going to do my eyelashes and stuff off camera. Um, pretty much all I did was eyelashes anyway. And my um, blush because my camera died. Like, died, died. Died, died. No batteries charged it fast enough. But um, this is my butter gloss uh, in the shade. I have it right next to me. Hold on before it cuts. It is in the shade Creme Brulee. And I'm setting it with my translucent uh, Maybelline Fix powder. And then here's the finish. Who is she? She looks so good. And I promise y'all this is not a filter. I swear. I'm just outside in the parking lot. But you see me. You see her glowing. Okay. Glo Look at the brows. The match. Ugh. Ugh a queen but like share and subscribe and i hope y'all like it i will see y'all next time bye